Hi, I'm Matty Dawes and we're here today at the wonderful Padres Lakes Fishery where I'm going to show you my approach to catching quality winter silverfish. So let me run you through my ground bait choices today. I've got two different ground baits with me today. I'm fishing for skimmers and the odd F1 today, so ideally I want a super sweet fish mill ground bait. Ground baits can be a personal preference, so I've gone with this. Fatch is original, it's got a lot of high co pellet content with some fish meal in, and the super sweet says what it is. Super sweet, draws in bigger skimmers into your peg and a lot of attraction. On the colder days, the lake can be a lot clearer. So what I like to do, add black lake into my mix instead of the thatchers. This is because the lake's clearer and the fish don't spook off your ground bait. Also, it adds an attraction. So when you feed your bait, it can on the bottom, it'll fizz and pop, drawing then smaller fish into your pegs. You can just keep getting bites before then bigger fish actually start to feed. Now I'm gonna talk you through mixing the ground bait. I've got my two ground baits here, and what I like to do is I like to measure them out. So, grab my thatchers. When I'm fishing, I like to use two pints of each, half and half. Get that in there. Lever that off. So, you got that in there. And then, exactly the same, it's a super sweet. Put that down there, like to give it a figure of eight with your hands. Just to get all the, all together. Now what I like to do is, ideally the night before, I like to add probably a pint and a half of water straight into the mix, because you want an inert mix. You don't want bits fizzing and popping off the bottom, you just want it, your bait, straight to the bottom, lying there so the fish can come in and graze on it and no extra attraction. This is because then bigger fish they prefer feeding this way. There's a lot of pellets in this thatchers, so it'll soak up easy. It'll take all them pellets in. It may look a mess at the minute, but that, that water will get absorbed in by them pellets and it'll look perfect in 20 minutes. So make sure you give it a thorough through. Keep work in the mix just to make sure all the water's absorbed get off the bits off the side so i did i'd leave that now just for 20 minutes or so and then pop it for the riddle so i've just come back 20 minutes or so just been setting up a bit of kit come back to my ground but as you can see it's like a cake mixture all hard at the bottom so what you want to do now is pop it through a riddle so what all i do is just break it up you could break this up with your hands but I just prefer to use a riddle so it's all even. You just put it in the bucket there, add any extra. Place a 4mm riddle on the top. Put all your ground weight on the top, just give it a shake. All them small bits will go through and all the bigger bits will just stay on the top. When you've got the bigger bits on the top, all you do is press your hand, just move it around your riddle. And all, the, all will go through. Like that. There you go. So now you've got a nice fluffy ground bait ready to feed in your peg. Today I've chose to fish two lines. I've chose to fish a loose feed line to the left and my line to the right I'm going to solely pop my bait. This is because I want to catch my fish on the bottom there nailed down. So, And on my loose feed line I'm going to look to feed regularly through the water and try and catch them fish on the drop. So the amount of ground bait I'm putting in, from a loose feed line, I'm just gonna put a tiny ball in. 
with no maggots or casters, anything like that. Just gonna put that in for initial hit, just to draw some fish in, and then hopefully my loose feed will keep them in the area. From a positive line, or fishing on the bottom, I'm gonna feed three balls. In this, I've put a large cab pot of casters and the same of pinkies. This because they want a bit of bait on the bottom, this will take time to come good. So I'll feed my bait and let the fish come in, get confident, and then you can start fishing over the top. Right, so it's time now to get your bait in the swim and get the session going. So I'm going to talk you through my rigs for today. I've got two swims on the go, so I've got two different rigs. The first one is my skimmer line, just on the right hand side over the ground bait. I've got a seven hollow. This is because I'm catching skimmers from eight ounces to a pound and a half. I want to set the hook, but it's still nice and soft as I'm shipping back. That's down to a 012 AccuPower main line. Then I've got a 4 by 16 into carbon. Choose 4 by 16 so I want to nail my bait to the bottom where the fish are. Then I've got simple bulk and two droppers, number nines in the bulk and two number nine droppers, down to an 010 20 SFL straight off the rig stick, nice and easy, no, no prep needed, just straight on that one. And for my left hand line, which is my loose feed line, it's a little bit different. I've got a solid number five elastic, this just so it's nice and soft because you've been catching anything from roach for an ounce up to two pound skimmers, any bonus fish, F1s, stuff like that. That's down to 012 AccuPower Mainline again. But on this rig, I've got a back shot. Got that six inches away from a pole. This is if I'm going to lay my rig in, I can keep everything tight if, when I'm holding on to my back shot. This is down to a commercial slim F1 fine in 4 by 14 Perfect for this, got a 1.2 bristle carbon stent so it follows your rig all the way down. When I'm fishing for ropes like this as well, I like to use the bulk and droppers. I've got number 10s there in my bulk. And then I've got two number 10 droppers down to exactly the same, another SFL straight off the rig stick. Makes it easy, nice and simple. <laughs> Right, we're coming to the two hour mark now of the session and it's been really good. The right hand line where we've fed the ground bait, we've had some good quality skimmers up to a pound and a half, we've even had a big roach. But now I'm not getting as many bites and I feel like I need to top up. My left hand line, my loose feed line, has not been that good. We've had a few roach, odd bites, but the right hand line has been where the quality fish are. So I need to start thinking about topping up. The amount of bait you top up with is, is massively important. I started the session by feeding three balls. That's lasted two hours. I believe there's still some bait on the bottom. So all you want to do is then fish will just back off because you've caught a few and they're wary of coming in your peg. But I need to just top up to bring draw them back in. But I don't want to feed a massive volume of bait like three balls again. So ideally, you just want to feed a nugget size of a golf ball with a few casts and pinkies, pop that in and hopefully you'll draw them fish back into your peg.
We're coming to the end of the session now and the topping up regularly with small balls has been the way to go. Every time I've topped up, you get two to five fish from it, nice and steady throughout the day, and you refeed, the fish are really homing in on that feed. I've had a go feeding, fishing past my feed, but it seems to be that the fish are coming to the feed, you get your bites really quick after topping up. So I'm gonna to top up one last time, see if we can catch you a fish with the camera. Just a small golf ball size, So the best hook bait today has been a maggot and a pinky. Started off in single maggot, that was quite good for a bit and then later on we just put a maggot and a pinky, just a bit standout bait for them skimmers and bream to pick up. So I'll try and catch you one now. Right, that's one on. So there we go, first F1 of the session, but it's the last fish of the day. What a lovely fish to end the session on. Let's put them in the net and see what we've caught. So there you have it. A wonderful session at Partridge Lakes Fishery. We've caught some quality skimmers, the F1 I ended the session on, even had a few big chunky roach. Just goes to show, if you get your feed in and tactics right on the day, you can have a great winter session like this. Let's get them back. <laughs>